A dry cough is a common symptom of COVID and is caused by irritation of the airways by the infection. However, some people experience a productive cough with COVID, which can be prolonged and continue after their initial COVID infection. You may cough up sticky mucus when you cough, particularly after exercise or first thing in the morning. Let's take a look at our respiratory system and think about the natural journey of air in and out of our body and the natural defences that exist here to prevent our lungs from infection. The air begins its journey by being breathed in through either the nose or the mouth. As we know, the nose is very important as it contains small hairs which filter and trap particles in the air, preventing them from passing into your lungs. So this is the first line of defence against pollutants or irritants, like smoke for instance. Small blood vessels within the nose warm the air, and water droplets caught on the tiny hairs within the nose humidify the air. Air breathed into your mouth is not filtered, warmed or moistened in this way. So if you can, try to breathe through your nose. Air which comes in through your nose then passes through the passage connecting the back of the nose and the mouth and travels down to the windpipe, which is called the trachea. The trachea branches off into bronchi, which then branch again into bronchioles. Think of the lungs like an upside down tree. The trunk is your trachea and your branches are the bronchioles. Instead of having leaves though, you have tiny air sacs which are called alveoli. Oxygen passes straight through the alveoli and into the blood system, where it is transported to every cell in the body. Carbon dioxide, which our body creates by using oxygen for energy, becomes a waste product and is transported in the blood back to the lungs so that we can breathe it back out. We all have a thin liquid mucus layer in our respiratory system which lines the airways from our nose down to the small airways within our lungs and acts like a self-cleaning system helping to protect the airways from inhaled particles including bacteria by trapping them within it. This mucus sits on top of tiny hair-like cells called cilia, which move in a wave-like motion. It acts like an escalator, moving any foreign particles up through the small airways of our lungs to the bigger airways and into our mouth, where we swallow it or cough it up. All this happens without us realising all of the time. Sometimes, due to certain respiratory conditions, smoking or general anaesthetic, this clearance escalator stops working so well and we get a build-up of mucus, which is a breeding ground for bacteria. This can then lead us to develop an infection in the upper airways or in the lungs themselves. Some respiratory conditions also cause a hypersecretion of mucus. COVID generally causes inflammation in the upper and lower airways and this inflammation can cause a hypersecretion of mucus which can provide a breeding ground for bacteria and viruses within the airways. Some people who have COVID also develop a secondary chest infection which may cause them to cough up darker sticky mucus. It's important that we clear these secretions from our lungs to prevent and aid recovery from infection. Coughing can be exhausting and sometimes it feels as though we are unable to clear our chest despite lots of coughing. This may be because of increased inflammation, narrowing the airways, or because the secretions in the lungs are too far into the smaller airways to be moved by coughing alone. If you are having difficulty clearing your secretions from your chest, then speak with your long COVID clinician who can provide a personalised assessment and management plan. You might like to try this breathing exercise called the active cycle of breathing technique. This technique involves taking deep breaths, relaxed breaths and huffing to help to move secretions high enough to clear. Lou is going to demonstrate. She is sitting comfortably with her back and feet supported. Her shoulders are relaxed and she is breathing in and out through her nose. She's going to start with some relaxed diaphragmatic breathing breathing gently down into the bases of her lungs. Now, she is going to increase the size of her breath and take three or four deep breaths. Watch how she fills her tummy from the bottom up with air, like filling a cup with water, expanding into her tummy, into her rib cage, and all the way up into her collarbones. Now she is going to return to relaxed tummy breathing for three or four breaths. Let's repeat the cycle of deep breaths, aiming for this to feel smooth and even. 
So take him back to those deep breaths. And now Lou is going to switch back to some relaxed tummy breaths, softening her shoulders and her neck. Next, she is going to try a huff. A huff is a forceful exhalation which helps to mobilise mucus from the smaller airways up towards her mouth. Let's try three with a little rest between each one. Now, if needed, Lou is going to have a cough to clear any mucus that she has moved into her upper airways. <coughs> now she's going to return back to breathing control to rest and begin the cycle again if needed.